better get your sports straight. You better get you better get your sports straight. Look it up. Google it, fool. Google it. Welcome back to a new video. We are out here today. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Yo, don't hate the player, hate the game. Today, what are we doing? We're out here in the Stewie. Out here in the Stewie making beats. Found the sample on the internet because my theory now, because I really don't want to spend money on records anymore because I have so many records behind me. You see how many records I have? It's too many to count. I have too many to count. And when I know I, if I have a sound in mind, I can just go back here and find sounds. But I found this one. I like to go dig on the internet. It's almost the same as trying to find new music because it's really there. It's really easy. You just go on the internet and you find it. We found this sample right here. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. I mean, turn it down. I'm gonna slow it down just a, a scotch. I'm gonna chop it up into the pads, but I'm not gonna save the program that I'm gonna make. I'm gonna play with the pads. I already have drums in mind. I made some drums, not didn't make some drums, but I found some drums the other day in a big drum pack that I downloaded off the internet again. Because, again, it's 2024. You can sample anything. Yeah, it's cool to get dusty off of these records. Get the crust and dust off of records. You know? I can do that all, all day long. Get dust and crust off of records. I have a record player that hooks up to my computer. And I can sit here and scratch the records. And I can sit here and get all the dusty samples I want. This is... super dusty by itself and we just downloaded that off the internet We're seeing what it's gonna sound like if I just do a threshold chop threshold chop let's see what happens <laughs> Threshold chop is like a sloppy chop, so it just kind of chops up the whole. I have too many in here. See, a threshold chop, you just it just chops it up real weird. So we're gonna. I want to maybe go to BPM. I know the BPM, you can go in here and divide it into a... Uh... This is what I just did. I chopped it all. I did a BPM thing. I did it like an eight bar, like eight chops. Like on every eighth note, I'm guessing. Because I'm really digging deep in this thing. I, I don't normally look... I just chop stuff up and start playing it by myself, but I've been really looking at what I've been chopping and how I've been chopping up samples. But this is this is what it sounds when I just have everything. I'm gonna boost up the uh, the BPM on this one too. That sounds crazy. Nosferatu, you know. Dracula. Oh. Found these crazy drums yesterday. Okay, and then what I did, I'm gonna try to do what I did yesterday, but I'm trying to do stuff like on a fly. When you're just making beats on the fly. I was kind of practicing yesterday or the day before, whatever day it was. I think it was Monday. I was just out here just practicing, not really doing anything much. I tracked out a beat, came out here, found these drums, and I was just playing. So this is what I'm. This is what I did when I did them. So I went here to the BPM. 
here, trying to get this on point right here. That's what. Got it, found it. So then, what did I do? I dropped it into a new program. That's how I wanted it. Right here, way up here in the top, you can see the line right here. So it's, there's nothing here, and then it starts right here. So it was sounding funny. That's why I couldn't match it up. It sounds okay, so I just dragged that line there. And then I drag this where it says one, because that's in the one pad. That's so hard. That I like to do sometimes I like to track it all so I like to make like five sequences all the same sequences and then just go in here and then the, the mute button and the solo buttons are really fun to play with when you say so we're just on one sequence right now but then we're on the bass okay we muted out the bass we put the bass back in or then you can solo the bass That's gnarly. Or okay, that's nothing. So this is. Oh, here's the break. Here's the beat. Here's the drums. that weird noise that I found but that's like a back and then we have this one right here that's the bass now we just we just make ill beats that's hard Just basic, just basic beats, you know, basic hard beats, that's all you need, you don't need nothing fancy, you can rap over this, just straight just rap, you gotta, you gotta merc somebody on this one, that's what you gotta do, you gotta merc somebody on this one, and that's what we did today. Sometimes the beats just come out nice, simple, just a regular old, it's not, I don't even know if it's a drum loop. I just played some drums on top of this stuff, found it, played with it, scratched a record on top of it. That's hard. You have to, when you rap, you really gotta murk, murk the beat. I don't know what it is. But we revamped www.forevercrusaders.com and my music that I do out here is on iTunes. And if you really want to support, it's now on the website. You can buy it straight from the website www.forevercrusaders.com and rock out. Rap over this. I double dog dare you to go. Go to www.forevercrusaders.com, go buy a hoodie, go buy a t-shirt, uh, go buy this beat, 
go in the studio and let me hear some heat. It's just basic. That's all you need is just basic beats. Just basic rap. It sounds like it's straight off the record still. You hear that? Just hard. Hard hitters are in the building, son. So if you really want to support, like I said, www.forevercrusaders.com Go buy a hoodie, go buy a t-shirt, go buy this beat, go make some heat, and merc this beat. We're out here. We're out here every Monday and Friday and every day in between. Don't hate the player, hate the game.